I'll open up these pipe fittings with a pipe tap so that the nipple will screw in a little bit farther. Here you can see about how far the tap will screw in by hand. It can go another quarter inch before it hits the threads on the other side. That's about as far as we can go without starting to interfere with the threads on the other side of the coupler. That one's just right. The nipple fits in there perfectly. A twist drill would never make a round hole in a thin piece like a washer. These step drills will do that and in addition the next size up makes a nice little chamfer on the hole too. Next I'll tap the threads. That's all hand work, so I'm going to unplug the lathe. Here's what we're working towards. The keg has a hole in it that's just the right size for this pipe nipple. So that will be captured like that. The keg is up against this fitting and this other fitting that we just drilled and tapped. We'll squeeze it on there like so. Of course we got two of those. This light fitting comes from the local home center. 
and it's got a 1 8 inch pipe thread straight. And that's what's tapped into here. It's a straight pipe thread. The tap on the left is the one that I use. That is a 1 8 inch pipe thread straight. In comparison, a 1 8 inch pipe thread tapered is this one on the right here. and the rest of it's stuck in that hole someplace. We'll try that again. And here we have a really fine looking keyhole slot with the top of the second router bit stuck in it. Yeah, it would be that part right there. Kind of looks uh, like the first one that snapped off a few minutes ago. Here we are, third time's a charm, three bits, two slots. That makes for kind of a happy shape.
The screws I'm using are a little bit too long, but they're easily adjusted. If you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment if you're so inclined. Thanks for watching.